Today, we're going to talk about goodness. Do you know what goodness means? Goodness doesn't just mean being well behaved. Like when your parents have to go away and your babysitter is watching you and they say, Little Johnny, you better be good and well behaved. We need to act good because that's what God desires. He wants us to love others and be kind and put others before ourselves. The easiest way to explain goodness is that person that everyone likes to be around. Today, Atari and I are going to have some special guests over for tea. Or maybe just me. <laughs> Looks like our guests are here. Come on, Terry. guys make yourself at home thank you both for coming over today thank you for inviting us where's the food i was told there's gonna be food don't be rude wilbur But where's the turkey? I was told there's going to be turkey. Tut tut. We didn't come over for Thanksgiving dinner, silly. Uh, if there's not any turkey, what is there to eat? Well, I didn't make any turkey. But I did make some lovely English breakfast tea. Who would like the first cup? Me, me, pick me, I want it. Me first, me first. That's all right, Wilbur. You can have the first one. There you go, Wilbur. And there you go, Charlie. <coughs> That's spot on. Wilbur. Would you stop it? Wilbur, this is my tea. Back off, back off. Thank you, Savannah, for the wonderful tea. Aw, you're welcome, Charlie. Would you guys like some cookies? Oh, bake me, bake me, me first. Go on, bake me. Sorry, Wilbur, but Charlie gets the cookie first because you got the tea first last time. <laughs> okay then, I'm gonna clean up now. Well, you guys have fun with that. 
I'm just gonna lay here, relax, watch some TV. <sighs> Goodbye and thank you for the lovely tea. Yeah, I guess bye. But next time, I expect to have some turkey. Yeah, it is alright, I guess. But next time, there better be some turkey. Lots and lots of turkey. Because I like. Well, that was interesting. So who would you rather hang out with? Wilbur or Charlie? Who do you think was showing an example of goodness? Are you the kind of person that someone would like to hang out with? Today's Bible story is found in Luke chapter 10, and it's about the Good Samaritan. He showed a true example about what goodness truly is. There once was a Jewish man walking along a road. He was coming from Jerusalem and was heading to Jericho, which was a full day or two of walking. The road was rocky and there were small hills all around. The man was just humming to himself and enjoying the nice day when suddenly a group of men jumped out from behind a hill. They took all his belongings and tore off most of his clothes. They didn't want him to follow them so they beat him up very badly and left him lying and bleeding on the side of the road. A few minutes later, a priest was walking down the same path and noticed the man lying on the side of the road. Do you know what he did? You'd think he would run over and help the man. Instead, he crossed the road and walked on the other side and acted like he didn't even see the man. About an hour or so later, another man, called a Levite, was walking down the road. Levites were people who assisted priests with their work. He would probably help the man, but you know what he did? He slowed down and walked a little closer to the man, but he kept walking without helping him at all. You might be thinking that maybe the man lying by the side of the road looked like he was resting or something, and that is why the priest and the Levite didn't stop to help. The trouble is, it's easy to tell if he was badly hurt. The man was bleeding had most of his clothes ripped off him and was bruised and hardly breathing. Just a few minutes later, another man came walking. He was a Samaritan. One thing you should know about Samaritans is that Jews did not like them. Jews usually didn't treat Samaritans very well, so they never got along. The man who was dying on the road was a Jew. So what do you think the Samaritan did? You would think he would walk by and maybe even laugh at the man. But as soon as he saw the man, he went over to him and felt compassion for him. He put bandages on his sores and poured oil and wine, which were quite expensive, on the sores to prevent them from getting worse. Then he lifted the man on his own donkey and took him to a hotel to take care of him. The next day, the Samaritan took out enough money so the man could stay at the hotel until he was well enough to leave. He paid the man at the front desk and asked him to take care of the man. If he wasn't better, after about two months, the Samaritan would come back and pay for any extra cost. After Jesus finished the story, he asked, which of these three men do you think was a neighbor to the man who was left beaten on the side of the road? The man who asked him the question at the beginning replied, the one who had compassion and helped him. 
Jesus told him, go and do the same. I'm going to end by reading you a verse that I want you guys to memorize, found in Luke chapter 10, verse 27. And it reads, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. Bye kids, have a great week.